Outstanding. Welcome again to another video. It's a boy El Dorado, and in this video today, I'm going to discuss the, the steps or the checklist that I have when doing master. Now, I have a couple notes here. I uh, don't remember everything off the top of my head. But before we really get into that, please do subscribe, hit the bell notification button and join the notification squad by selecting all notifications so you can get post notification as soon as I release a video. Now, first on this list is mono compatibility. Now, when we really say this, say this, most of your music will be played in boombox, uh, headphones, PA systems in clubs and so on and so forth. However, for PA system or sound system in clubs, <laughs> boxes and stuff like that, it will be played in mono. So if the mix no sound good in a mono, you know sound good none at all. If the mastering no sound good in a mono, you really have to really check your mono compatibility um, during the mastering stage. The second thing you have to really check on this list is to make sure it is not over compressed or over limited. Meaning that you know what sound like it just suck all the dynamics from the track or make it extremely low, harsh, or brittle. You know, you can he really hear the limiting on it, choking it, and so forth like that. Mastering is about um, polishing the final mix, and it's not so much about compression. Though people add compression to it, so on and so forth, just make sure that you're not over compressing the tracks or over limiting the tracks to begin with third one on this list is make sure that the tracks is not distorted now limiting can cause distortion and all of these crazy things also but you have to be sure that um it is not distorting even with adding saturation doing mastering or, or, or certain type of eq and so forth so on and so forth you have to be certain that you get a clear sound and a saturated sound if it's a case where you add saturation during the mastering stage make sure that it is not distorting the overall sound if it's two track or stem mastering that you are doing fourth one on this list is making sure that your your, your sound sounds good and different system now a way you can really go about doing this is um, doing references and there's a lot of references around you in which you do not know first and foremost you can if you have two different or three different sets of monitor you can do your your, your, your your references there you can do your references on your headphone you can do it from the this um, the phone speaker that you have making sure that it's on good like commercial mixes or masters as and a real play of mastering are a Bluetooth boombox, a old radio, a component set in your house, a Bluetooth set in your house, a, a theater set in your house. Just check it on everything that you have that it sounds good. It sounds good or extremely wonderful on multiple systems because um, people listen music on different sound sources, so you really have to take that into consideration and reference it on as much thing things as you possible can so while it sound good and many things you um and some it may not sound good on but if it's a case where you're mixing a master and the support uh, the, the, the the song or it's a case where you can really contact the, the mixing engineer and say hey can you fix this and fix that because it doesn't sound good on this you know you can do that but if you're mixing your own music and mastering uh, you can go back to the mix and make adjustments and come back to the mastering because in most cases in the mastering things needed not to be changed than in the mix that things can be changed and not be done in the mastering as I said mastering is for polishing your file and mix is not about doing things that you can do within the mix the fifth one on this list is making sure that you have a balance across um, the frequency spectrum now a lot of times you will see me use isotope tonal balance 
I do have a preset that I use for dancehall music, even though they have reggae there, and, and dancehall is a sub-genre of reggae, I do have one specifically I made for dancehall trap music or regular dancehall music. Now, having a balance between a certain frequency, it, it, it correlates or corresponds with the other frequencies, so it is not too bright, too harsh, too boomy, or too muddy. You know, so having a, a balance mastering with all different frequency spectrum it is very essential to have a very smooth clean and very dynamic mass having a dynamic master also it is very important to the final stages of the song next one on this list is true peak make sure your true peak is less than 0 0.3 because um let me just read it so you can be more familiar with it than me just explain it from the top of my brain. Now, uh, I've pulled up something on, on, on the internet. Um, true peak is a measure of, load, of the lowest point of the music that will occur when the digital music is converted to analog. Uh, analog. You know, for, sorry for my, my, my bad English. Anyways, uh, meaning that the true peak can over a certain decibel after the limiting CMV. So having um, a lower true peak, it can really help with, 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 within the limiting range of the music. If that really makes much sense, or if you don't understand, please do comment. So we can do a video about true peak and limiting um, itself. So. Normally, as we say, it can be a decibel above what you initially set. For me, um, the, the, the limited when I set my, 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 my ceiling for it, I normally go like below 0 0.3, so forth like that, sometimes even 0 0.4 to have a ceiling that is not near the zero. Or probably you can have it close to a zero dB, but I like to have it like 0 0.4, 0 0.3 to make it a a bit more safer for me to avoid digital clipping, distortion and so forth like that. Digital clipping to me never really sound good. So thank you people for watching. You know, see you again in another video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave some comments. Please do like if you don't like it. Please do leave a like. I'm not biased, I'm just saying.